So this is the new dechlorination setup. A solenoid valve We're running from an interval timer through a needle wheel valve to set the flow rate. Sediment pre filter in a nice clear canister so you can see when it's dirty. That then goes through a pressure gauge and then through a 25 litre 36 inch vessel with catalytic carbon in. Then you have the first test point so you know when the chlorine is getting through the first cylinder second cylinder of catalytic carbon and the second test point so you can test for chlorine coming from that point as well without having to take everything apart and that goes up and runs through three GAT cartridges with catalytic carbon in that's just a backstop so that when you get chlorine from the second test point you know that the two carbon cylinders are burnt out but it still stops the chlorine getting into the pond by running through three gags and then that runs through a flow meter to tell me how much water I'm using and the total 23,066 litres so far and the flow rate That solenoid also runs off a transformer there that reduces it down to 24 volts. That's a 24 volt solenoid, although you can get 12 volts. So we already had a uh, 24 volt solenoid, so it's got a 24 volt transformer for it. And the interval timer runs four minutes on and 26 minutes off. And they're four minutes on, 26 minutes off. 4 minutes on, 26 minutes off, 24 hours a day. But by running it through at nearly 2.5 litres a minute, what that does is it increases the pressure to 10 psi running through these carbon filters, which allows the water as it comes in to spread out and diffuse through the whole bed. If you run it through too slowly, it will just run through a small portion of that till it burns through and then you're getting a chlorine reading, but all the carbon hasn't been used. And then once this cylinder is burnt out and you're only reducing the chlorine by 50% uh, or less, you can take this cylinder out, refill one, move the second cylinder that hasn't seen that much chlorine move it to the first position and just swap that out and then you're good to go again so you'll get the maximum use out of the carbon rather than replacing it as soon as you get a slight burn through 